माई डियर चाइल्ड यू मे हैव बीन डिसकनेक्टेड फ्रॉम योर इनर पावर एंड स्ट्रेंथ यू मे ऑल्सो बी लुकिंग आउटसाइड फॉर द आंसर एंड इवन गोइंग थ्रू अ टाइम वेन यू फील पॉवरलेस दिस इज अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम when you will reconnect with your inner power and strength so you are beginning to understand that all power lies within you your will your intent and your connection to source all work together to create a reserve of power and strength within you that will help you move forward in the most exciting ways so you were never really powerless you only convinced yourself that you were so all along you have had great power within you that you were not using as you reconnect with your inner power you will grow stronger each and every day so you will begin to make changes that you could not make before it will be easier for you to make a decision and you will begin to feel protected as well as feel great sense of faith and security in the knowing that you can overcome any challenge that comes your way so as you tap into your inner strength and power sudden and rapid changes will begin to occur in your life so get ready to move forward because you are no longer a victim of life circumstances you are now becoming the hero in your own journey so my child know that god is good all the time you live in an imperfect world with imperfect human who have all been gifted free will hence the difficulties you experience in this life but those hardships and struggles don't lessen god's goodness He has a plan that is still in effect what he does not fix in front of you he is working on behind the scene Have a faith for now look for God's strength to let through one day at a time God shows up he will give you a peace the world just does not understand so trust in his goodness So my child know that in a few days we have a new moon in Aquarius it is an empowering time with a new moon to awaken your inner strength and power so taking everything at slow pace and set intentions rather than making big decisions is the key for a positive outcome So focusing on self care and making sure things are balanced with your home life it is important to celebrate you and embracing love all around you and your loved ones Always believe in yourself you have the strength to get through it you can get through any situation by focusing on your inner strength So getting into your spirituality meditation is an excellent way to self reflect on your soul path release and surrender negativity anything that no longer serve a purpose focus on true forgiveness and having gratitude don't look at the things on why they did not go the way you wanted or what if you did things differently 
so this would only create and plant more seeds of negativity things happen for a reason and it is going to get you stronger so let god guide your path it is the first step to finding peace and happiness and there is a divine purpose you have to believe in yourself and you are amazing so my child know that seek god's peace a peace is one of those gifts that god freely gives to those who ask in fact it is one of his characteristics the fruit of his spirit peace is an element of the very essence of god so don't be afraid to ask your father in heaven for this beautiful gift so if you then though you are able know how to give god gifts to your children how much more will your father in heaven give good gifts to those who ask him so it is easier to let go and let god when you remember all god has done for you all the grace and mercy all the time you were stressed and scared terrified of the unknown you were facing and it worked out remind yourself your ego can so quickly forget what god's done for you personally the real power he has in your life letting god is a no brainer so put your hands up and let go let go of how it work out it will work out it always does remembering this makes the actual letting go way easier so my child know that when you tap into the energetic flow of manifesting you will quickly discover how effortless it is to attract what you desire moreover you will tune into a vibration of peace that remains non attached to whether your goals manifest now or later but those of you who dabble or even live in a manifesting state know the practices goes far beyond money and earthly luxuries so over time you get used to opportunities coming your way having a steady flow of abundance and getting approval for things like a new home but at some point you realize this material things are not as fun or precious if you can't share them with genuine people you connect with so once you have satisfied your ego and physical needs your heart and soul start earning for deeper desire like close friendships family connections and meaningful relationships This desires became more important than money, social media followers or book sales. The once meaningful images pinned to your vision board, blur like a backboard, has compared to the inspire conversations. So unforgettable memories and unimagined adventure taken with people you love, the very essence of authentic human relationship. draw the noise of a worldly pleasures this may feel like a privilege take on manifesting it is hard to imagine focusing on friendship if you are not comfortable financially and it is even harder to think about relationships when you are stressed or afraid because of financial problem but as you open your heart to abundance try to visualize meaningful connections with others so picture yourself in situations where you are sharing 
powerful experiences with the right people. Think of the people you you will meet, the conversation you will have, and the emotional receptive receptivity you will feel manifest meaningful relationship that becomes conducts of abundance in every manner of the world. So the energy, love, power, and fulfillment we seek are found within you and me, not in money, cars, or vacation homes. The true magic of an abundant life reveals itself in the human relationship we cultivate. Type yes if you have faith and trust in God and if you want your all wishes come through, type amen and if you like this video, please hit like button.